Hello and welcome to another E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. We're going to be looking through how to search through your RS Means guides. Specifically, we're going to look at the search tool. Okay, so we're going to swing back over and as we've started all of these, we're going to start on the updating estimate window on the line items tab. Okay, how do we open up our pricing guide so we can get to searching? Yeah, right click, we can open our default guide and boom, we're in the building construction cost data, okay? So we can see we've got tens of thousands of line items, right? This is about the third time we've gone through this, so check out index and favorites to kind of see some of the different nuances there. Um, but we want to use the search, search utility this time, so we can look for words. Again, the locate is dedicated for the numbers only, so if we've memorized the number, rock and roll, go for it. But we're going to look for words, so let's get into it. How do we open up our search tool? If you said right click, you're on it. Let's go down to search utilities. And we've seen we've gone through a couple of these now, but there's search, right? If we click on the search, this opens up the search window. All right, now we're going to jump into this window like we've done in the past and jump into it and we'll use it. But right now we're going to see how another couple ways to open it, depending on how you like to open it the best. All right, so let's go over. When we right clicked and went to search utilities and found search, does anybody remember what the hotkey for search was? Yeah, control S. I don't know if anybody's catching a pattern here. I for index, F for favorites, S for search. But let's go try out that search you that that hotkey and see if it works. So I'm gonna hold down control, hit S, release them, and there the search window popped up for us. One more way, let's go check out. We've gone over the index and the favorites. Now let's hit this little magnifying glass. When we rest over it, we see the tooltip says search there, and that opens it up. So let's use it a little bit. So the search is pretty awesome. It's very powerful, but it's also very specific. All right, when we saw the query field, remember we were looking for multiple partial words. In the search here, because we're looking through so many words, we're actually gonna have to look through multiple exact words. So we'll put a string of words in and the results will be everything that has all of those words in them all right it will be exact words so let's kind of look and see how this works a little bit so we've been playing with cove base a little bit i've typed two words in there cove and base now what we see here it's pretty cool when we type our lettering it's going to show us about how many line items that word is used in so we see Cove was used in about 37, base in about 662. When we get the get results, when we hit the get results button, that will cross-reference those and only provide the results that have both Cove and base in the description somewhere. And we're going to see various different ones, all right? This will list out all the different line items that have it in alphanumerical order there. In this case, we can see that there's 26 line items that have both Cove and base. Now that's just too many to look through. So let's go ahead and add in another word. Now what's important to remember is it doesn't matter the order at all. So you could put this cove base, you could do base cove, it doesn't matter at all, we'll go search and find it. But let's go ahead and add in vinyl. And I'm gonna hit enter to get results. And now we're down to about six items, right? So we can see um, all the different items there. And let's just pretend that there's too many again. So let's go ahead and add in Let's say four inch get results and now we've gotten to the one line item that has four inch vinyl cove base pretty cool huh so this allowed us to go from the 34,000 line items and get to just the one that has all of those words now remember these are exact words so cove would be a different result than cover even though c-o-v-e is in cover it didn't find anything that was covered because it's not an exact word. All right, so if you noticed how I kind of rolled with this is I started broad and I narrowed the search by adding um, different words to narrow it down. So if I started too narrow, I may have come up with no results and maybe got a little frustrated. So another key to look at is when you're adding line items, maybe look to see which has more line items than another. So if we do base again, we can see that base has 662, based with a D there has 6, 332. So we base says has 71. So base may give us better results than bases, but if you don't get what you want the first time, go try a different word. That might work out a little bit better. 
So I hope that kind of makes sense for you. Now, what we've got here is our results. And again, we're going to get to our results the exact same way. Double clicking, hitting enter, right clicking. Ah, the right click doesn't work there. So we're actually going to go to the line item button and hit locate. All right. And so that'll take us to the line item right there. Make sense? Now, you remember, and I remember, that it's a sticky window. If we could see it, we could click on it and bring it back up, but we can't see it. So let's come over here and use our search, and it'll leave us right where we were, and we could go to a different line item if that's what we wanted to do. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of a refresh of an existing video. Do you notice there's a search tips over here that there wasn't in the last video? So search tips is going to give us an additional tool that we didn't have before. All right. There's a lot of nice words here and it's going to describe it real well. But basically what we can do is we can add the word not in all caps into our list of words here and it will um, exclude any line items that have that word from the search result. So let's see how that works. We've got Cove Base Vinyl. If we hit not four inches, anything to the right of not will be excluded. So we could put multiple words here if we wanted to. So now we're going to get Cove Base Vinyl, not four inches. Oops. And then we'll hit Get Results. And that's going to give us all of those vinyl Cove Bases, except for the one that had four inches. So it allows you to strike that out. We can kind of see that a little bit, that it's going to not include the four inches. It's kind of a cool little thing that we added in there. All right. One other thing that I think a lot of people will sometimes use the search for is they know something is in the book, but they can't find it in the favorites. They can't find it with the index, but they know the line item is in there, right? Have you ever come across that? Um, Michael Brown's was Cypher, right? So he's like, man, I just can't find Cypher. So if you type in Cypher, boom, you can get there. And then here are those results. Hit enter, and you've found your Cypher logs. Now what you could do is you could add that to your favorites or you could add that to your index and call that line item whatever you'd want to call it. All right? You can customize it there in the index. So that was the search tool. All right? So hopefully that helps you out. Obviously, um, give us a holler if you need anything. Uh, please look through the other search utility videos as well as all the videos that we've got out there. And we hope that you just have a wonderful, fantastic day. Thank you so much.